Hi guys, I'm Jared Falk, and in today's lesson, we're gonna talk about developing speed using a single bass drum pedal. Now, if you are a double pedal player, you can still use these exercises to develop speed with each foot individually, okay? So you can practice them with your right foot, and then also practice them with your left foot. These are some exercises I developed. Um, I'm calling them beginner exercises, but obviously, it's all about the kind of the tempo you play them at. So if you wanna play them really, really fast, um, that would obviously be more of an advanced speed and stuff like that. But before we jump into them, I wanted to talk a little bit about just the techniques that you're using. Now, um, you'll notice I'm using uh, what, what Sean Lang uh, calls the flat foot technique, and that's where my foot is just, my heel of the foot is slightly off the pedal, and when I actually go fast, I'm using this technique, okay? Um, if you want, you can bring your, your foot on top of the pedal. However, when I'm going faster and stuff like this, I find if I move my foot, you know, just halfway down the pedal, I'm able to get faster and it'll be easier and I'll be able to play those strokes for longer. And so that's why I'm doing that. Um, you also notice I'm not using heel down, okay? Uh, I wanna get a little bit more powerful of strokes, so I'm using the heel up flat foot technique. Um, if you wanna practice them with heel down, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I know there is a lot of heel down drummers that that's what, they play that exclusively and that's totally fine. I'm not one to tell you what technique there is right or what technique is wrong, okay? It's whatever works for you and the music you play. Um, but I'm gonna be playing these exercises all at two different tempos, okay? A slow and a fast tempo, because I really just want you guys to, to hear how they sound when you're first starting out. So if, you're, if you are a beginner, you know, you should play it very, very slow, especially when you're first starting out. Um, but then there's always, like, you always wanna push it, because we're trying to develop speed, right? Um, but speed doesn't come with without control. So we still wanna make sure we have control and that's why we start slow and then speed it up progressively. So with that said, let's jump in to exercise number one. I'm gonna be playing this at 70 beats per minute. All right, so that's just a very basic exercise to help you guys develop the control, and then you can continually speed it up. And I only max out there at 120, um, but obviously I would continue to push it and push it, and, and hopefully get to around 180, 190, 200, somewhere in there. And then I'd also practice that with my left foot, um, especially if you wanna do some fast singles or whatever. You know, you're only as fast as your slowest foot. And so it's important to work on both feet. Uh, the next exercise we're gonna do, it just incorporates some 16th notes in there, okay? And we're gonna start this at 70 beats per minute, and the group of 16th notes is on count four. So make sure you guys get the sheet music for this, okay? If you're watching this on the drumlessons.com website, it's right below, you'll find it in the, the PDF link. If you're watching it somewhere else, just go onto the website, and uh, you'll find the sheet music under the bass drum section. Okay, so what that exercise is gonna help you with is doing those short bursts, you know, where you need a quick three strokes or a quick two strokes or whatever. It's just gonna help you develop the techniques and the control to actually play at those faster tempos. Uh, the next exercise is basically gonna incorporate more of those 16th notes. So we just have two eighth notes and then a group of 16th notes, two eighth notes and a group of 16th notes. Okay, so let's try this one at 70 beats per minute. All right guys, so getting fast 
with a single pedal, um, there's not really any quick fix or anything that's gonna, you know, increase the, the speed of this within 10 minutes or stuff like that, okay? There are certain techniques you can learn to do quick doubles and stuff like that, but to play consistent and constant notes, um, the best and easiest way to do it is to just practice these exercises and start at a tempo you're comfortable with and then slowly progress faster. And you're gonna be playing drums your whole life, so don't worry if you have to you know, really focus on bass drum technique for 12 months or, or 24 months or something like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And the more control you develop, the easier it will be to go fast. So I just highly recommend start slow and then slowly progress faster. So once you're done this beginner lesson, you can move on to the intermediate lesson on how to build single bass drum speed. I'll see you guys there.